Hello, I'm Adam Barrowlay and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the essential oil of laurel. Once there was a beautiful young nymph and her name was Daphne. She was the daughter of the river god Peneus. Now Daphne had decided to devote her life and to follow Artemis, both who had decided never to take a lover. However, one day there was the sun god Apollo and he was struck by an arrow from Eros or Cupid, the god of love, and became enamored in with Daphne. He refused to let her go and was pursuing her constantly. She started to fear for her well-being and so she asked her father, how can I be saved from this, you know, obsessed Apollo? And the only way that he could save her was he turned her into the laurel tree. Now Apollo was so upset when he found out that he had lost um, this, the love of his life as he believed that he actually took off a branch and wore it as a wreath and thus the, the laurel wreath has long been associated with Apollo, the sun, with victory and all those different types of things. We're going to explore them throughout this video. Now the laurel tree once there was a big laurel forest throughout most of the Mediterranean and now it's just kind of sparsely populated out there but we can still get these beautiful leaves from the laurel tree and when we steam distill them it brings us this amazing essential oil. For me I uh, live in Australia and being very familiar with eucalyptus oil it's kind of like a eucalyptus -y smell but it's got a bit of a sweetness to it as well. So we're going to explore in this video all the different ways that you can work with laurel essential oil for your body, for your mind and for your spirit. Our lymphatic system is designed to return liquids that are in our tissues back to our central circulation. Now unlike our circulatory system which has the pump of the heart to pump it all around, our lymphatic system doesn't have a pump. It relies on the movement of our bodies and our muscles to get things flowing back. Now there's an amazing massage technique called lymphatic drainage and this, will, this helps to get those fluids back if they're getting a bit of congestion and not getting a good movement around your body. To complement this, try adding laurel essential oil to the massage medium, the cream or the oil, and it really makes this an amazing experience and really effective as well. Laurel essential oil is amazing for supporting a healthy respiratory system. I love to put it in my diffuser either during the day or it's an amazing one at night as well to help you breathe fully and really clearly. It's great, this essential oil laurel, for popping in with your, um, your skin products. Um, it really helps to tone the skin and I really love it um, in hair products as well to help you have healthy looking skin and hair. It's also really great for making your own DIY cleaning products. Add a couple of drops of laurel in there and not only do you get a beautiful smell, but you get something that's going to really give you a nice, beautiful clean as well. So laurel leaf can really help to support different systems of our body as well as our overall well-being. So make sure you get your laurel leaf essential oil out and use it as many ways as you can find possible. Laurel has a really uplifting power and it can really help when you're feeling really dense or heavy to bring a bit of clarity to the mind and help you get a bit of direction in life. Laurel is associated with an aspect that you may not have heard of before, which we all have, which is called our bright shadow. Now I've all heard of our shadow self. These are parts of ourselves that we keep buried or hidden away from the world because we feel that they're not appropriate to show. However, the bright shadow is slightly different to this. I want you to think about someone you admire, whether it be someone in your life or a celebrity or someone famous that you know. And I want you to list some attributes that you know about them that you really admire. Maybe you love their independence, that they dance to the beat of their own drum, that they've been a bit of a revolutionist, that they're always happy. What are these different things that you really honour and respect about this person? List them down. Now I want you to think of this list and I want you to look at this list. And if you were to show this list to other people, you may find that quite often you have those same attributes. That either you're showing them and you don't recognize that you're actually being them, or that they're laying dormant within you and you're yet to actually bring them out to the world. Our bright shadow are the aspects of ourselves that we don't realize how much we're shining out to the world. Laurel actually helps us to find and cap capitalize on our bright shadow and realize the beautiful traits that we bring to the world. It shows us that we each have a significant and very unique light and gifts to show to the world and how to be aware of them and make sure you're using them to your advantage so that you can be successful in life um, in being who you truly are um, being authentic and a sovereign being and getting out there and shining brightly as you are rather than someone else. You have amazing traits within you and it's quite possible that other people see them within you but you're just not seeing them within yourself. Laurel is going to help you to find them.
You may have heard the expression before, don't rest on your laurels. Well, the word laurel actually means praise and it means to make sure that we're not just relying on what we're good at or the things that we've already achieved to be continually successful. Laurel inspires that light within us to shine brightly and helps us to go out there and be triumphant and victorious. As I mentioned before, those that were successful in different uh, endeavors were often honored by wearing a wreath of laurel. You know, we often associate it with the Olympians, but also Apollo was not only um, about, you know, competitive and sporting ability, but also artistic integrity and ability, um, you know, all those kind of successful things that we strive for. So whatever field you're striving to be successful in, Laurel can actually help you to do that. Now, this is an evergreen tree. An evergreen tree that refuses to lose its leaves in autumn it has an energy of immortality or long-lastingness. So if you have something that you're aspiring to and you want it to last for a long time, maybe a long-term relationship or a book that will last for a long time and make a big impact for many generations, then Laurel and bringing that working of Laurel in is going to be really amazing. Laurel helps with that clarity of the mind and not just of the the um the logical mind, but the leaves used to be burnt as an incense when uh, at the Oracle of Delphi. So this is also a great essential oil to capitalize that energy of the leaf because we've got the power punch when we've got the essential oil. And this is gonna help with your psychic abilities, any divination work, to follow your intuition and all those types of things as well. So if you're looking at getting some, bringing in wisdom from your intellect and from your intuition and knowing what to do with them so that you can succeed in whatever you're pursuing, Laurel is definitely gonna have your back there it's going to support you to be at your best, to be alert, to be clear, and to know which direction and which path to take. Laurel essential oil really helps our light to shine brightly, and it's a great essential oil for self-esteem. It helps you to feel confident, especially if you don't, if you feel when you're around people that you don't know or a large group of people that you need to hide your light away. It works with our solar plexus chakra. It's going to allow that light within here, that sun within your solar plexus, to shine out for you to show the brilliance of who you are, to feel confident sharing who you are with people from you know whether you've just got to meet them or whether you've just you know you've known them for a long time and showing like what you have to offer. Every single person has something special to show and when we feel confident in our solar plexus chakra we don't need to assert our personal power and influence over other people nor do we allow them to assert it on us. It allows us to collaborate and work with people in a cooperative manner and so we all bring our best to the table. Laurel is going to help to balance this energy center so you feel confident, it's going to boost your self-esteem and it's going to allow you to contribute to whatever you're pursuing in your life. Laurel is an amazing essential oil just by itself. I love the aroma. I've got some on my wrist each now and I'm walking through this forest. I keep smelling to remind myself of the magic of it. But you can also add it to amazing blends. Before I mention that Laurel is really great at supporting the respiratory system. So you can bring in other essential oils that support the respiratory system as well. I'd be thinking about oils like eucalyptus, cardamom, peppermint, all those different ones that really help you to breathe clearly and cleanly. So you can make your own blend and have that in a diffuser to support your respiratory system. Now, we can also use it for our solar plexus chakra. So consider mixing laurel leaf with essential oils like lemon, lemongrass, ginger, manuka, uh, wintergreen, uh, helichrysum, all these different types of ones could be really powerful at helping you to feel confident and get out there in the world. Le uh, lemon myrtle is another one I really love to mix with my laurel leaf. Now, there is a final blend that I want to share with you, and I call it a, uh, Apollo's Lovers. Apollo had many different stories about how he you know, fell for someone and unfortunately it normally didn't end too well. So first of all, we know about Daphne. So that's the laurel essential oil. You may have, if you've seen my Cyprus video here on YouTube as well, I talk about the beautiful young man, Sopracios, who Apollo fell for as well. So there's a Cyprus essential oil. There's also Hyacinth, another young man who Apollo fell for, and he came to a fatal end as well. So what we can do is we can mix the laurel with the Cyprus and the hyacinth, and Apollo also played an instrumental role in bringing rose into manifestation as well. So mix those four oils. Rose, which will bring that amazing, unconditional, high vibrational love. Laurel, which will help us to feel really confident in love. You've got Cypress, which helps us go with the flow and enjoy the ride of love. And hyacinth brings in a real magic and allows you to be who you truly are in love as well. So if you feel a bit shy when it comes to love and you need to have that confidence of the god Apollo to get out there and be who you are in a 
attract and shine brightly. Then try mixing rose, laurel, cypress, and hyacinth essential oils together. And hey, shine brightly and see who comes into your life, who's attracted to your beautiful luminous light. When I'm working with essential oils, I take a real holistic approach and bring other beautiful gifts of nature in to work in harmony with my essential oil. I love working with crystals that have a unique vibration which we can hold near us and have near us to bring in that energy of the essential oil. When I'm working with laurel, I bring in yellow sapphire. That's right, you can get sapphires in all different colors and yellow obviously has that luminescence of the sun. So it's a really good one for helping you shine brightly and sapphires are all about commitment. So it's about shining brightly and feeling confident to have that long lasting um, integrity and who you truly are, especially when other people question who you are. Sapphires and yellow sapphires give you real strength in that manner. Now, Laurel is so strongly associated with Apollo and he has lots of different animals who are associated with him, including the wolf, the dolphin, and the swan. So any of these animals are really great to call upon when you want to bring in that energy and work with Laurel essential oil. Laurel associated with Apollo is associated with the sun. So the best day to work with the Laurel essential oil is Sunday, the day that is ruled by the sun. Now, sun also rules Leo. So Laurel is definitely a really great oil for Leos to work with or anyone who wants to bring in their Leo energy. So they want to feel confident in the spotlight. Laurel will allow you to do that. If you're going to be center stage, you definitely need to have some Laurel essential oil with you. Now remember when it comes to essential oils that not all essential oils are the same. The labeling is not, not really governed by most com uh, countries and so you never really know what you're getting. So you want to look really hard and scrutinize where is my essential oil coming and what is actually in it and what tests are done to guarantee that. Look for a pure therapeutic grade essential oil, ideally from the Mediterranean. This is where we will find our laurel essential oils. Now, if you'd like to know a little bit more about the essential oils I work with, my contact details are below and I'd love to um, have a chat with you about how we can get you some amazing laurel essential oil and how you can start to work with that and shine bright like a diamond or like a sun or whatever you want to shine brightly like. Now, what's, your, what's been your experience with laurel leaf essential oil? I'd love to hear about your experience. Maybe you've had some successes for the body, the mind or the spirit. Maybe you've come up with an amazing blend. Share it in the comment section below so we can all learn. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video about Laurel. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.